Question 11 then on this P5 OCR gateway physics or OCR gateway further additional science. This question is about waves. So these are just some things that you need to really learn, you need to really remember about waves. So as you go through, put a tick if the sentence is true and a cross if the sentence is false. I won't read them out or remind you anything, but perhaps you might want to, as you do this, look for your through your revision guide because these are the kind of statements that you just need to remember uh, for your exams. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, the first one is true. That's just a statement. Diffraction is when waves spread out and it only really happens when the gap size is about equal to the wavelength. So that one is true. Here this is about using microwaves for satellite communication and you just need to know that below 30 megahertz, less than 30 megahertz, waves are reflected by the ionosphere. Between, sorry, above 30 gigahertz, then they are, they can be used but they are kind of scattered and the strength is reduced, okay? And between 30 and um, 30 megahertz and 30 gigahertz, so in the interval 30 megahertz to 30 gigahertz, sorry, then they, that is when they can pass through. So this says radio frequencies between 30 megahertz and 30 gigahertz are stopped by the Earth's atmosphere. No, that's false. They can pass through. Microwaves are used in satellite dish broadcasting because dish aerial produces a lot of diffraction. Well, no, actually, if we had a lot of diffraction, we wouldn't get a clear signal. Microwaves are used because the dish is much larger than the wavelength of the microwaves, so therefore we don't get a lot of diffraction and we get a good clear signal. And lastly, coherent waves, this means waves that can interfere with another and be um, constructively interfered or destructively interfered, have the same frequency with different amplitudes and are out of phase. Well, they do have the same frequency but they don't have different amplitudes, they have the same amplitudes and they are in phase. So this statement altogether is false. You just need to remember coherent waves have the same frequency, the same amplitude and are in phase. Okay, thank you very much for listening.